ever wondered how to turn a pile of sports results into a slick table, today I'll show you how to do it in Excel. Mostly we'll use only the basic formulas like count ifs and sum if. So this tutorial is totally beginner friendly. On the left you'll find the results of English Premier League football games and on the right our table template. To transform our results into table we'll need some additional helper columns. They are home goals, away goals, home team result and away team result. Firstly, let's fill up the goals columns. To do this, we'll copy the result values and use the text to columns option on the data tab. Now we need to choose a delimiter, which is a column. just as simple as that. Next one is home team result. Here we'll use a simple if formula. If home goals are greater than away goals, it's a win. If they are equal, it's a draw. And if home goals are less than away goals, it's a loss. Away team result is even easier. If home team lost, away team won, vice versa. Now the preparation is complete, and we can move to the right table. To count the games played, we'll need a simple count if formula. The range is our home team column, and the criteria is the name of the team. This is the quantity of home games played. So now we need to add up all the away games. We'll use plus sign and copy paste your formula. Now we only need to change home to away. And that's all. To count one drawn and lost games, we'll need count ifs formula. It is similar to count if, but allows two or more criteria. The first criteria is our team name, and the second is its result. Now we'll only need to change the first letter. The next three columns are goals for, goals against and goal difference. Here we'll need some if formula. The range and criteria are the same as before and the sum range is our home goals.
Don't forget about the goals scored in away games. We'll do the same trick. To count the goals against, we'll need only to swap home and away in our formula. Goal difference is just goals for minus goals against. And the final one, points. It's the number of games won multiplied by 3 plus games drawn. We can also modify number format for goal difference to add plus sign for positive values. Now we need to sort it up. Go to the data tab and use sort. First by points, from largest to smallest, then goal difference and goals for. Those rules should be enough for our tutorial, but you can add additional ones. Let's also add some conditional formatting to highlight the teams, based on their position. Yellow color for the first team. Green for Champions League and blue for Europa League. Let's also highlight the relegation zone. And now our table is complete. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more similar content.